Hey everybody, it's Chrissy K. Rollins here bringing you another quick little mindset shift video for you. Last week I was talking about how right now is really ripe for relationships. You either find some resolution or quite frankly dissolve. This is happening in our family relationships, in our um, in our personal relationships, in our outer circle relationships, and one of the places that I personally have really been feeling it, so I had to bring it to y'all today, because if I'm feeling it, I know I can't be alone on this. Where I've been really feeling it is in my relationship with my daughter. Now, she is a five-year-old, gorgeous little earth angel, and she is, she's incredible. She's an incredible kid. But as she is finding her way, having this human experience, we've been um, butting heads in a way that quite frankly, I didn't expect to have happen before becoming a parent and before having her be five years old, learning some independence um, and really realizing that she is her own separate identity from myself. And regardless of how she's expressing it, it is bringing up quite a bit inside of me, quite a bit of frustration, anger, um, disbelief, and just kind of shock and feeling like I just don't know what to do as a parent. And one of the things that's helping me to stay grounded, which is what made me think of you and why I wanted to show us on the video, and I really want to hear what do you do in these moments? Are you also feeling these frustrations? Do you have a child that's around the same age or that's older and you've been through this same experience? Because I'm feeling like there's a secret club that happens that you become a part of once you're a parent, but you don't get to know anything about before you're a parent. And I just didn't know that I was going to be running into such challenges so early on. I thought this stuff was like for the teenage years. So how I have been handling this is that I've been looking at it from the perspective of what if. What if her behaviors aren't wrong or inappropriate? What if her behaviors are just the only way that she knows how to express whatever feeling and emotion she is feeling? And if my husband and I want to have the grace and courtesy extended to us to be able to express ourselves freely in the moment, no matter how we feel, unfiltered and just raw emotion in the moment and still be met with love, kindness and support, why would we not extend the same courtesy to our five-year-old human that is also living in our house, is feeling all these human emotions, doing the best she can to navigate her way through it, working off the examples that are being set for her, which are sometimes great and sometimes not so ideal. So as I think about this and I think about how she is just trying to communicate something, how I want to be able to communicate how I feel without having to be filtered or have to meet some of these expectations of my behaviors whenever I'm feeling all the feels in the moment. I'm thinking the same courtesy must be extended to her. And when I get into this space, it's a little easier to navigate, but I wanna know, do you try this with your kids? Have you thought about it from this perspective? Or is it just this conditioned response that was set upon us by the example that we were given or by society as a large, the kids are to be shut down when they express themselves in a way that is less than ideal? And what if the reason we want to shut them down is not to shut them down, but to stop what we are feeling inside as a result of the choices that they're making. So all of this is what's been swirling around in my head and I wanted to get the conversation going. And since it's Monday, I thought I'd go ahead and post this video and then I'll do a little touch base on it on Wednesday for Watch This Wednesday. So I wanna know, comment below, subscribe to my channel if you wanna stay um, connected to great little bite-sized perspective shifts and insights like this. And definitely comment below if you wanna join in the conversation. Are you finding it extra struggling in your relationships? Are you finding it challenging as a parent? What are some things that work really great for you? Where are you, where are your tripping points? Let's get this conversation. Let's lift the veil and let's just really get real. I want to know. So comment below, join me back here and I will talk to you guys soon. All right. Bye.